Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about webtoons. I've decided to make my own webcomic and I am planning on uploading it onto webtoons, but I am currently not finished with the first chapter <laughs> and um, it is very much delayed because I was originally planning on having it done for the webtoons contest and they've already announced the winners for that like last month and I still haven't finished one episode so you can see that I've been delaying and procrastinating on this quite a lot but I am working on the first chapter now I just need, I've lined the first eight panels out of around 35 or something like that and I just need to line the rest and to color everything in and then upload it uh, I think right now I'm just not like 100% sure about my story which is why I feel like I've delayed it for so long but I feel like I just I really want to get something out there even if I'm not completely thrilled about how original I think my concept is, which I don't think it is. But at the same time, you gotta start somewhere. I've never written a story before. Uh, I've never made a comic before. So the only way to get practice is by doing so and getting feedback from whoever decides to read my comic. The comic that I'm gonna be making is called Hidden Eden. It's not uploaded yet, but I'm not sure if it will be by the time this video is up. But I just wanna talk about my progress and how everything started. Last year in the summer of 2017, my friend told me about Webtoons. I had heard about it before, but I wasn't really that into it. Somehow, well, she mentioned it to me and then I was like really bored one day, so I decided to read it. Or I decided to download the app and then I think the first Webtoon that I read was Siren's Lament and I posted on my Instagram, my cosplay Instagram, um, a fan art of it. Let me show you guys. It was of Ian. And I still love Ian, but um, yeah. So I think I was introduced to the Webtoons world from my friend, downloaded the app, and I became obsessed since that summer. I never, growing up, really wanted to be a comic artist or a manga artist or anything like that. I was just into drawing anime, but I think what appealed to me about this was that I've always really enjoyed stories in like whatever format they can be told, whether it's verbally or through a book or a movie or something or webtoons. Whatever the medium, I was always interested in storytelling because I think it's like a I think it's a part important part of being human. Like you have an interest in other people's stories and relationships. Be and because of that I wanted to write a book. But then I realized I'm not that great at English or I'm not that great at writing a story. Like creative storytelling is not my whole thing. Yeah, I wanted to create a webtoon because um, I'm more of a visual person. Like I like drawing, I like seeing things and that's how I remember things. And so I thought, well, since I'm not really great with words, especially like writing a book, I thought it would be easier for me to tell a story visually, which is like comics, right? And then the webtoons contest was announced sometime, I think it was like May or June of 2018, which is this year when I'm filming right now. It will be really fun to use this as a motivator for me to actually get a comic out there because I know that I'm not very disciplined and I've never really had to draw that much in one sitting. Like I never finish this. It takes me like years to finish one sketchbook. And I decided to enter the contest under the most epic category. During the contest time was when I brainstormed an idea. Um, I have wanted to create something in the fantasy genre because I initially thought it would be like an easier win for that genre, if I were to win, like if I had the possibility or even the slightest chance of winning, I thought it would be in that category. Because I thought people on webtoons didn't like fantasy that much, but then later when I was checking it, I was like, oh wow, it's like fantasy is one of the most popular, or at least the number of comics in the fantasy genre is a lot. But that was beside the point. I didn't want to change my story or anything because this was like the first story that came to my head. I'm not very good at making stories. So I was like, just gonna work with this one. So that was in July 1st. No, let me check. So on July 1st, I posted this photo of my main character that I created and his name is Lucas. Um, yeah, and then that's when it began, when I had thought of the story. I was I kept on working on the story up, up until August, just creating the plot line, I guess, and the script for the prologue or the first episode around end of July. Or August is when I started doing the thumbnailing. So this is uh, the thumbnailing process that I did on this notebook that I got from Daiso. I just recently finished lining the first eight panels or so 
maybe like a week or two ago and I'm starting to work on the rest but I realized I didn't finish the character sheets for some of the other characters so I'm gonna do that first and then start doing that again just because I feel like I need to know what the characters look like and have a solid reference to look at so when I draw the characters later it's all um, consistent. I feel like I'm gonna be making a lot more content related to webtoons because that's where my interest lies right now and I want to vlog the process of me making a comic and um, all the joys and struggles and trials and whatever is going to come. I should have said it earlier, but I'll talk briefly about the um, plot of Hidden Eden. Lucas is a boy who lives in a world where people have superpowers or talents or skills or whatever. And they can be things like um, teleportation or... Um, invisibility. He's going to this training facility to develop his powers because he is in a country that has that is engaged in war with another country. Lucas goes to um, like a center of transportation to be flown to the training facility that he is going to learn how to harness abilities and use it um, for the purposes of the war. And then um, during that flight to the training facility, something happens to their um, vehicle, airplane, I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it, call it in the story, and um, it crashes. He and two other people who are on that um, flight are alone and stranded and they don't know like how it happened and two other people find them and tell them that their home country has been lying to them all along but they don't know whether they should trust those people or not and so conflict ensues! Yay! Conflict! Uh, I explained it very badly, I should probably be able to say the entire story in like one or two sentences but that will come later. I'm just worried because the story would probably encompass a lot of episodes and I don't know if I even have the capability to do all that. I might have my webtoon linked on the bottom if I do actually have a webtoon up. <laughs> Hopefully I do because that would be really sad if I didn't. That is all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.